Hi guys, so welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you my 2020 bullet journal, and I'm going to be showing you how I set it up and some tips for bullet journaling in general. So my first tip is to put on relaxing music. I like to listen to lo-fi, so I'm sure you guys all know, because I find it helps me bear the long periods of time sitting at my desk more easily. Then for some of my supplies, I like to use colored pens. These are from Muji. I like to use mild liners as well. This is a 15 set from Target and an extra one that my friend got for me. Some simple brush markers. These are from Amazon, I believe, and I use them for calligraphy. And then classic pencil, eraser, ruler for my mistakes and keeping my lines neat. Alright, so for my first page, I'm doing my 2020 title page. As you'll notice with the rest of my spreads as well, I like to keep it pretty cohesive in terms of the color schemes. Then I'm just going for a nice bold quote. This one is, it should be one sole endeavor to see everything afresh and create it anew by Gustav Mahler. Then because I want to start off 2020 really fresh, I'm putting in some plant designs just to keep the theme really natural for this first page. Then I'm going in with one more little quote that says, aggressive goals require aggressive work ethic. Then my next page is my 2020 resolutions. So I'm going in for a blue theme here. And so I just wrote resolutions at the top in calligraphy letters. So my resolutions that I decided to keep this year are calling my grandparents once a week if possible, studying abroad, learning how to budget and reading a book once a month again. Another tip that I wanted to throw in is if you have empty space, just write in a motivational quote. You can find tons online and it's a good way to keep yourself, you know, in check with your goals and what you want to achieve this year. So next is my full year spread. So for this one, I like to lay out all the months in the certain time frame for what I'm setting my bullet journal up for. My third tip is referring back to previous spreads. So like I set up a full year spread for my freshman year, I decided to go for that same design and that same theme for my actual 2020 year spread. third tip is that whiteout is your friend um as you can see i accidentally wrote uh december twice instead of november then december i used to have this thing um, when i was first starting out bullet journaling that i had to have everything neat and perfect and if i made any mistakes it would be the end of the world but it really isn't use an eraser use whiteout or turn it into something else it's totally okay then for my second semester spread, again, going back for some inspiration. So that's the second half of my year that I'm looking at. And I decided to kind of turn it into this box format where I could jot down anything freely for each month. So as you see, whenever I'm making boxes or anything in my bullet journal, I like to sketch out the dimensions really lightly with a pencil and then go over it in pen. So 
So I decided to set it up as January, February, March, April, May, which is when my semester ends, and then general notes. So then in each one, I just jot down specific events, important to do's with regards to what I have planned for each month. Then I have my favorite moment spread, which has always been a favorite of mine. Here, it really is just a brain dump where I can make note of any little moments or memories or milestones that made me happy and I jot down the date and by the end I have a cool compilation almost of a bunch of events that made me happy. Then I have my budget planner. So this is a really important one that I needed to get started on and I finally took the time to set it up. So budgeting is something that I really don't know much about but I obviously want to know more about. So I decided to give it a shot. So I have a really, really basic budgeting tracker here. Here I have my income and expenses as two separate charts. And then I have the date, the location of where my money is going or coming from, and then the amount. So again, going in with a pencil to kind of sketch out the dimensions. So I thought this playlist spread would be a really cool one to try to keep up every month. I feel like it would be a nice way to look back and kind of see what my songs of the month were, what songs I was listening to at that point in time. So for this month, I've really been listening to Psycho by Red Velvet, Any Song by Zico, Indigo by Nicki, and I Like You by Nicki. Those songs were all amazing. You should definitely go check them out. Then I have my January monthly spread. So I'm just showing you what they've kind of looked like over this past semester so far, based off of one where I didn't really have many tasks and one where I did have many tasks. I use this color dot method where I just kind of dotted in on the days where I had a specific event and then I kind of use it as a code below the calendar portion. So for this spread, I decided to go for a kind of celestial vibe. So my fifth tip is I use this decoration idea where I kind of just do a bunch of dots and little cross hatches to kind of make it look like the letters are sparkling around it. Then for my January weekly spread, again, this is an example of what I've been doing this past semester that's been working for me. So it's really mostly about function for me when it comes to more of a daily or weekly basis. I just write the day at the top, the number of the date, and then the to-dos and events I have. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I decided to keep it fairly simple, but still show you how I like to add a bit of an artistic or creative touch. So overall, I'm really proud of how far I've come in terms of bullet journaling, and I just want everyone to know that if you are interested in doing it, you definitely should. It's just all about making it work for you and for your life and for your goals. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.